In 2021, high blood pressure was either a primary or contributing cause to almost 700,000 deaths in America. And statistics show that almost 50% of Americans have high blood pressure. And even more concerning is that three out of four people do not have their high blood pressure under control. Now, things like medication can be very successful in reducing blood pressure. However, there are side effects, there's the cost, and there's also the question of people adhering to taking their medication. And now there are studies, many that have shown that exercise can also help reduce blood pressure. And there was a recent study, which I'll review in this video, which ranks which is the best exercise to help reduce blood pressure. Hi, I'm Dr. Ed McLeanman. I'm an orthopedic surgeon here in New York. I specialize in sports medicine and arthroscopic surgery. There was a meta-analysis of 270 studies with over 15,000 people. And what they did is they broke it down into different types of exercise. And they found that many different exercises compared to not doing exercise reduce blood pressure. Now, in terms of ranking, which are the best exercises, the best one was isometric exercise training. And we'll go into what that is. Then there was combined training, meaning both aerobic and strength training. There was dynamic resistance training, then aerobic training, and then high intensity interval training. So again, isometric exercise training was the one that seemed to reduce blood pressure the most. Now, typically these isometric exercises were held for two minutes and then they would take a two minute break and they would repeat this cycle at least four times. And they would usually do these exercises at least three sessions per week. An isometric strength exercise is essentially when you are using the muscle, but you're not moving a limb. For instance, the one that worked the best in this study was a wall squat, where you're doing a squat, you're leaning against the wall. If you hold that position for a minute or two, your legs are burning from the pain, but you're not moving a joint, so there's no motion. You're holding it steady, but you're using that muscle. They also looked at other things like holding a strong grip strength or doing a leg extension machine where you're just holding your leg extended, holding that weight. But the wall squat was the one that actually worked the best. Now, the next obvious question to ask is, how well does doing exercise compare to taking medication to reduce blood pressure? And so here, there's a study that actually looked at this. Now, what they found was that compared to people who were not doing exercise or not taking medication, all the different types of exercise help reduce blood pressure, which is what we saw in the other study. And they also found that all the different classes of, of antihypertensive medications also were effective in lowering the systolic blood pressure. Now, in these studies, there are some people who had high blood pressure, some people who did not have high blood pressure. But what they found when they compared all these studies among people who had high blood pressure, being hypertensive, there was no significant difference between doing exercise or taking medication to lower the systolic blood pressure in that group of people. But when they look at everybody, both people with high blood pressure and those people without, when they combine all the groups, it did appear that taking medication was able to lower systolic blood pressure more than just exercise alone. Let's wrap up this video and go over a few key points. Number one, all these different types of exercises seem to be able to reduce blood pressure. So find the type of exercise you like and go with that one. Number two, isometric strength exercise, such as doing a stationary wall squat, seems to work the best at reducing systolic blood pressure. And number three, it's important to keep in mind that this is specifically looking at blood pressure. But as we discussed in many other of my videos, that different types of exercise, like aerobic exercise or high intensity training exercise or dynamic resistance training, they have other health benefits that people can enjoy and gain from doing these different exercises. So I think designing an exercise program that includes all these different types of exercise and doing them throughout the week is very important to gain all these different health benefits. And the additional benefit is that it keeps your exercise routine interesting and keeps you motivated. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you found it helpful. If you did, please click the like button below and subscribe. I look forward to seeing you in my next video or in my office.